about the earthquake in Japan and why I've decided not to go back to Australia and to stay in Japan. Um, I guess the first reason is uh, at the moment I don't feel any immediate danger to my health. At the same time we do have to take precautions. Um, some of the water and vegetables have been deemed to have uh, levels of radiation in them, so I'm taking those steps, uh, you know, not to have those dangerous products. But um, I guess the main reason I'm deci deciding to stay is I feel um, I made a decision to come to Japan and to start my business here. My wife is Japanese and all of her family are here. So I feel um, if I go back, I'm sort of letting down a lot of people, and um, I also feel that. Uh, you know, it's not good just to just to come to Japan for yeah. all the good things and uh, and leave when something goes bad. So uh, I just feel a little bit of uh, responsibility um, to try and stay as long as I can until it gets absolutely uh, dangerous to my health. But it hasn't gone to that stage yet. So um, yeah. And of course, I really, I really like Japan. I went to university here. I've spent lots of my adult life here. So uh, I think if the same thing happened in Australia, I would stay until it was absolutely, absolutely necessary to leave the country. So um, you know, of course, I do know there is a risk out there, and things might get better. Things might get worse. Sorry, but I'm praying that they will get better. And I'm trusting in the Japanese government and the technicians at the nuclear plant at the moment. Uh, to make everything better. So uh, I know lots of people are leaving the country and going back, but uh, for the moment I'm staying and I'm just believing that uh, everything will work out for the best. Okay. Mm. Thank you very much. Okay.